Welcome to Obsidian where simple nodes turn into endless possibilities. With core plugins and thriving community, this app has everything you need for managing your knowledge and life. It has 26 core plugins and 874 community plugins, making it one of the most customizable note-taking apps available. The active and imaginative Obsidian community is constantly pushing the limits of what's possible. In this video, I will demonstrate 10 Obsidian plugins to take your note-taking to the next level. The last two plugins are today's topics. Watch the video until the end to find out why. Imagine this, you are in a high pressure meeting, your boss demands a specific document and all eyes are on you. You start sweating as you dig through folders, wasting time and causing frustration for everyone involved. Well, what if I told you there is a solution? Introducing Quick Switcher in Obsidian. With over 4000 nodes in my Obsidian vault, finding specific nodes used to be a nightmare. But now, with Quick Switcher, it's a breeze. Just type in a partial match or even the first letter of each word, you will have your notes in front of you in a flash. But wait, it gets even better. To make things lightning fast, just remember the keyboard shortcut Ctrl O. This is a game changer that will save you time, energy and most importantly your sanity. So, say goodbye to the hassle of folder digging and say hello to the most powerful and dynamic search plugin in Obsidian. Give it a try and you watch your productivity short. Are you tired of doing the same task repeatedly? Like typing name, creation date and reference in every notes. It's time consuming, creates friction and demotivating, right? Now I want to share with you a simple productivity hack that can make your note taking more efficient and enjoyable. Introducing template plugin. It's one time setting that can save you a ton of time and energy in long run. Here is how it works. Step 1. Create a folder, name it templates, create a new node, name it node template, put your name and creation date time inside double curly braces. Design the template as you want. I want to put references at the last. Step 2. Go to settings, enable the template plugin. Step 3. Go to core plugins, templates and show the templates folder. Now you have made your template fully functional. Step 4. Create a new node, press Ctrl T and select your template. Voila, your note is now populated by the template. Every time you create a new note, just press Ctrl 3 and select your template. It's super fast and really improves your productivity. Plus, your notes will be clean and beautiful. So, why not give it a try and see how it can make your note taking more efficient and enjoyable. Have you ever found yourself struggling to find the right notes in your Obsidian vault? Well, the Obsidian search plugin is here to help. With this plugin, you can search for notes, tags, and even specific text within your notes in just a few clicks. It's like having a personal assistant who can find anything you need in your notes with lightning speed. To search for an exact phrase, simply surround it with quotes like this, double quote second brain. If you want to find files that contain both second and brain, use the search term just second brain without code. If you want to find files that contain either second or brain, use second or brain just like this. And if you want to find files that contains brain but not second, just use brain minus second. You can even embed search result in your notes by adding query code block. Backtick three times, write query and now search second brain.
if you are a fan of journaling or simply want to keep track of your daily activities. Obsidian Daily Notes feature is perfect for you. Enable Daily Notes from setting, code plugin and turn on Daily Notes. With just one click on the ribbon, you can open notes based on today's date. But did you know that you can even customize your daily notes to fit your preferences? For instance, if you would like to have your note in a separate folder, simply change the new file location under daily note plugins option. It's that easy. You can also use templates to add predefined content to your daily notes. To set it up, create a new note inside the templates folder and name it daily template and add the structure that you prefer. Then in the plugin options, select the daily template note as your template file location and obsidian will use it for your new daily notes enable open daily note on startup if you prefer to open daily note automatically every time you start obsidian there's a plugin in obsidian that's been flying under the radar but it actually is a game changer for note taking say hello to backlink plugin most people don't talk about it but I think it is one of the most powerful feature of the app. Let me show you why. Let's say you have a note called Second Brain and you want to know where this note is referenced or linked. So with this backlink plugin, you can easily find out. Just go to settings, core plugins and enable the backlinks plugin. You will then see all the notes that use the second brain node. You can even open those notes directly from the link. But it gets even better. Imagine you are reviewing a books and articles, making wiki style connections between them. With the backlink plugins, you don't have to keep track of those connections manually. It does it for you automatically. That means when you bring everything into Obsidian, you already have a complete writing plan. Now I want to talk to you about one of the coolest feature of Obsidian, the graph view. It's like having a map of your notes like human brain where you can easily see how they are connected and related to each other. Graph view is by default enabled, if not, you can enable it from setting core plugins. In the graph view, each note is represented by a circle, also known as node. The lines between nodes represent internal links which are like shortcuts that allow you to quickly jump from one node to another node. And the more nodes that reference a particular node, the bigger it appears on the graph. But it's not just a pretty picture, you can actually interact with the nodes in the graph view. Just hover over a circle to see all of its connection, click on a node to open it and right click to access a menu with different actions you can take. Overall, GraphView is a fantastic tool for visualizing the relationships between your nodes and exploring your knowledge in a new way. So if you haven't tried it, give it a try. Did you know that you can give a presentation from your nodes without doing anything? Yes, you heard it right. You can actually use any valid markdown file as a presentation. How cool is that? You can turn a simple text file into a slide in Obsidian. To enable this feature, simply go to your settings and look for the core plugins option. From there, you can turn on slides. To separate your slides, just enter the three dash at the start of line surrounded by new lines. Once you have set up your file and separated your slides, you can go to more options button and select start presentation to begin your slide deck. It's that easy. Now you can impress your audience with unique professional presentation without having to use any additional software or tools. Give it a try and let me know how it goes. Imagine this. You are in the middle of a project and set up your workspace with a bunch of nodes. However, suddenly you need to switch to another project due to emergency and you don't want to mix up the nodes between two. Fortunately, there is a solution, the workspace plugin. To use it, go to setting and activate the workspace plugin. Then click on the workspace button and name it project one. Close all of your current nodes and start working on new project. When you need to return to the previous project, simply click on the workspace button and load your saved workspace. All your notes will be opened just as they were before. This plugin is incredibly helpful because it allows you to manage multiple projects at once without losing track of your progress. Obsidian is the tool you don't know you need it, but 
trust me, you won't be able to live without it once you start using it. The best part, it's easy to learn, at first it might be seem a bit boring, but as you keep exploring, you will uncover treasure of features that will make you say, wow, I don't know, it could do that. One thing that makes Obsidian even better is the common palette. It's like a secret weapon that lets you find anything you need, even if you don't know where to look. Just enable it from setting and voila, you are ready to go. Let me show you an example. Say, you want to share one of your pages as PDF, but you are not getting the PDF option. Open Common Palette, just type PDF into Common Palette, and bam, you got the export to PDF right there. It's like magic. Obsidian is a full of amazing features. So don't be afraid to experiment with it. And if you even find yourself stuck, just remember that Common Palette is your friend. So here is a quick tip. If you cannot find an option, try using the common palette to locate it in no time. Obsidian Canvas plugin is an incredibly powerful tool for organizing your notes and ideas. It allows you to create visual maps or canvases where you can add move notes and connect them with arrows and lines. This makes it easy to see the relationship between different ideas and topics and explore new insight. This plugin is particularly useful for project planning, knowledge management and brainstorming. With Canvas, you can map out all the tasks and deadlines for a project, visualize the connection between different topics and ideas, and generate and organize ideas for new projects. Thank you for watching. I am always curious to learn about other useful plugins that people use. So let me know in the comments which plugin do you use the most. Is there a plugin that you cannot live without? If you are new here, I am Shubhankar Dash, PhD student in Clarkson University, New York. If you find this video useful, hit subscribe and bell icon and refer your friends who are also trying to learn Obsidian.